so I was just watching Netflix's new show, How to Build a Sex Room, and it's really good. Um, and I just wanted to pause and share a thought that I had um, that was coming up as I was watching it. I was thinking about why it's important to um, ex- to have like sexual exploration and to make sure that you are not limiting yourself in understanding the full expanse of your sexuality and that came to mind because I was thinking about how because on the show like the couples go and like the people go on these excursions and you get to learn a little bit more about what you enjoy and have different perspectives on things that you thought were going to be off limits for you Um, and of course boundaries are always respected but um, there's just an expansion of creativity and imaginings of what can really be possible for people uh, when it comes to sex and reclaiming your own autonomy and control in the bedroom um, or in your sex room. Um, and so I was thinking about, you know, how nice it must be uh, to the part of, with the part of, you know, sexual exploration, the part of having first that are positive and having first that come from a place of empowerment rather than you know, the place that I think many of us where, uh, where many of our first come from. I was just thinking about when you haven't had, when you haven't had the chance to have a lot of sexual experiences, a lot of your firsts happen from a perspective of insecurity, um, shame, um, lack of confidence, youthfulness, where, and a bit of desperation, you know, I lost my, or I had sex for the first time when I was 19, which now that I think about it, I feel like was pretty young, but I thought I was having it really old. I was like, I'm like running out of time. I don't know what, I was just in a mindset of, I need to have sexual experiences. And so, yeah, I was having all these experiences. I mean, not all these, but I was having experiences and none of them were coming really from a healthy place. And so all of my firsts, while none of them are quote unquote, I guess, traumatic in terms of my first first, none of them are first that I'm like happy to share, you know, they're not experiences that I would like tell my kids about in terms of telling them about healthy, positive sexual experiences. I actually don't have any healthy, positive sexual experiences to share. And so right now, the foundation of my sexual relation, of my relationship with sexuality is pretty trauma-based and pretty, uh, not toxic, but it's just not a comfortable relationship. Uh, It's not something that is super, it doesn't come from an empowered place. Um, And a lot of me still feels kind of helpless within the foundation of, within my relationship with sexuality. Um, but when you are open to sexual exploration, you have a lot more firsts to gather because there's so many things to try for the first time. And especially when you are able to begin to experience firsts from a place of maturity and from a place where you are in love with yourself and where you understand boundaries and where you know how to speak up for yourself and advocate for yourself and you're in a healthy relationship or healthy dynamic with a sexual partner who understands you and respects you and wants to prioritize your pleasure just as much as they want their own pleasure prioritized, you know, Uh, and from a balanced perspective, you get to kind of shift the foundation of your sexual relationship, of your, yeah, of your relationship with sexuality, because now it's not like the foundation is just these few firsts, which would be like penetrative sex, oral sex, making out. I'm tr- like, I'm trying to think of all of the firsts that people usually have. You know, those are the firsts and those are like the foundation of our sexual relationships. Um, and n- usually those firsts aren't really great. Um, but if you have a more expansive mind and you're more open to sexuality, there's so many more firsts to approach that then the scale begins to tip more towards positive experiences. And then your foundation for your relationship begins to be more positive because you have a lot more positive firsts. 
And so then your relationship with sexuality on whole begins to kind of be transformed into this really balanced, into this generous and exciting and empowering uh, relationship rather than something that feels daunting and often, you know, like you're bracing yourself for impact and, uh, you know, lacking in confidence. There's just a real shift that can happen and I think it's powerful and um, it's something that I'm really excited about. I'm really trying to, I'm personally celibate right now and I don't plan on having any sexual experiences with anyone until I meet somebody who really understands me and I would like to feel like I want to wait until I'm in a relationship that I can also see going the distance, like lasting the rest of my life. That's kind of what I'm, that's the mindset that I'm in right now where it's kind of like a waiting for marriage type of deal. <laughs> um, and that's simply just because I've realized that the self-sacrifice that happens uh, for casual sexual relationships for me and even in the relationships that I were was in where I had sex or I was having some form of sex, it just wasn't positive and it didn't make me feel good and it didn't make me feel safe or comfortable in my body and ultimately led to a you know, relationship with my sexuality where I didn't trust myself and I didn't really trust others. And so I'm really working through those boundaries right now, but I am somebody who really is excited to be adventurous and to explore all that you know, I'm capable of sexually. And spiritual sex work is something that I've talked about. And it's, you know, in terms of dreams that I'm trying to follow, being uh, in the sex work world when it comes to my spiritual journey and the role that I want to play in that space is something I'm really scared to even begin to confront that I've kind of just completely avoided it. But, and I don't even really fully know what I want to do yet, but there's so many ways I feel myself being drawn to the area of sex and sexuality. I mean, I've had so many <laughs> experiences, bad experiences with sex toys. I've spent like upwards of $300 and nothing's just really seemed to work for my body in a way that really feels compatible with pleasure that is easy and, and um, joyful and especially when you're solo. And there's so many things that... I issues that I feel like I want to confront within the sex space and making it more loving and positive and engaging and welcoming. Um, but it's kind of terrifying to even begin to put yourself out there like that. And, it, you know, with a lot of the work I want to do, I also would be excited about working with other people, but that's scary. So, yeah, the realm of sex is an intimidating space for me, but it's a space that I also know I'm going to get so much fulfillment out of and empowerment through. And so, yeah, I just want to share that thought and recommend people to watch that show. My sister recommended it to me and I had been putting it off for unknown reasons. And <laughs> so I just started watching it today and I'm really enjoying it. So I just wanted to share this thought. So, yeah. Bye. Oh, and I got some satin pillowcases. I've been trying to do some self-care and so treating myself. So I got these pillowcases and now I won't have to wear my bonnet anymore, <laughs> which is good because it's tired and played out. So it's really nice and soft. I took a bath and I got like bath salts and um, a bath bomb. And I was like really like washing my hair in a nice way today and put on this fancy lotion so just been treating myself and yeah I'm trying to rest I realize I have an aversion to sleep I don't know why because I love sleep but I'm I struggle to get myself to really go to bed <laughs> so and just even to just relax so that's something to work on but yeah I don't know how often I'll be posting because I've tried to post I had a couple of thoughts I wanted to share but you know, I've just been so tired that I really haven't had it in me, but I guess I have it in me right now to share something, and this is what I have to share. So, yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed, and <laughs> let me know if you have any thoughts also. Um, yeah. Good night. <laughs>